Are you finding that your copy of Jedi Survivor is not running very well? One could say terribly. I got you with a solution. I've also been suffering from my computer running like DJ Khaled while playing this game. Uh, this is my current PC setup as you can see, so I should never have any problem uh, running this game whatsoever. Now, there was a patch today which supposedly addressed some of the issues and it felt a little better. But a lot of the problems people are having is that the game isn't running or isn't using more than 40% of their GPU. Um, the only time my GPU would go to 100% was when I was in the menu changing my settings. Um, which is good. That's exactly when I needed to be at full power. So that's good. When I paid $1,200 for a GPU, uh, that's around what I expected for my performance. Listen, I did everything you can think of. I downloaded the latest drivers. I restarted my computer 10 times. I, I, I lit candles. I prayed. Listen, it, it doesn't matter. It's another day, another game that gets released unfinished. And it's EA, so this time it's understandable because their programmers are working with technology from the Cold War and Motorola Razors. So when they tell you that they're optimizing your files for better performance, I think they're actually just trying to hold you off until two hours playtime so you can't refund it. And so I found a solution. And this was the result. I mean, it's infinitely better. Not perfect, but at least, you know, not unplayable. It's low frame rate, yes, because the game is optimized by Groot and his extended family, but low frame rate is playable. It's the stuttering that kills the experience. And I would say this fix largely eliminates the CPU stuttering. So what is this fix? Well, it's, it's very similar to the fix that I did for Hogwarts Legacy, uh, which is basically just like you have to go into hidden files and alter the way that your computer treats certain applications. Guys, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So how do you access your hidden files? Well, first you have to go to file and then you go to options. And in the view tab, there should be an option to view hidden files. Assuming you haven't done that before, it should be disabled. Uh, you want to enable it, apply it, and now you can see hidden files on your PC. Congratulations, you are now officially smarter than a fifth grader. From here on, you want to go to your local dick. From here on, you want to go to your local disk, uh, click on users, click on your user profile, and then in there is a little folder called the app data folder. It should be grayed out because, again, it's a hidden folder. So this is where the magic happens. So click on that click local and then that'll show you all the apps on your computer and then from there just scroll all the way down till you'll find the folder called sw games now every other game on your computer will just be called or like the folder will just be called the name of the game but ea is such a disgusting company that they can't even do that right ea can't just name it star wars jedi so it's easily recognizable i spent 30 minutes looking for this goddamn folder only to find that it is called sw games it could be literally anything i have a thousand porn games downloaded onto my computer you think i know what this is dog shit company but once you're in there click on saved then config and finally windows no editor um, now a little text document will pop up and for some reason mine is in Comic Sans. I, I don't know why. I promise I'm not trolling you guys. I have no idea why Comic Sans is the default font for this. But uh, now you scroll down to the bottom of this document and paste a little script at the bottom of it and then save the, the document and close it. I hope that I remember to actually put the script in the description this time. I forgot to do it the last time. So I hope that I do it this time. Um, and anyway, with that, you're done. Congratulations. So what does this do? Well, like I said, I'm not even going to pretend to fully understand what, what any of this means. I, I, I am far beyond that point in my life. However, from what I've read, it's a pretty basic fix for like a pretty common problem that happens with Unreal Engine specifically, where it doesn't use a lot of its resources or, or it doesn't use your computer's resources all that well. And so basically this forces it to use all the resources. Now, it should be noted that... It didn't entirely fix my problem with res with uh, the game not using all of my resources. It, it usually uh, when I first played, I was at forty percent, uh, and after the fix, it, it kind of hovered around sixty percent. Um, sometimes it would go to seventy, sometimes it would go to eighty, sometimes it would go to fifty. It's just uh, the game. The problem is on the developer side, as EA themselves have stated be uh, have stated in their little thread. They're like, "Ah, oh, yeah, we know this is a problem," uh, and they also said they're like, "Ah." You know, guys, there's no real fix. Uh, so we we can't really fix it. Uh, we'll just we can only make it a little better, <laughs> which is God. This company, this this company is just insane. How do they get away with it? It's actually kind of nuts. And the problem is also specifically on the high end setups, which 
I, 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 I gotta be honest. I've never felt discriminated against before, but uh, I, 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 I feel like I'm now getting to understand a little bit. Um, at least now, after this fix, you know, I can actually give Cal a beard without fear that my computer will just grow legs and beat the shit out of me for making it work that hard. So, anyway, um, I hope this helps you guys. Peace.